Yo, I learned today about AAVE, African American Vernacular English. Uh, they, I realized that they what they were telling me when I when I was a kid, what they were calling Ebonics is what they were talking about. And Tut, another African American language founded here in America. But uh, both of them very interesting. That like AAVA is not just first they were saying that um, the slaves were being taught by the slave master, which is like a poor guy. It was mostly poor people that were teaching the slaves how to conduct themselves. It wasn't like rich, proper talking people. So they were only mimicking old. They were only mimicking poor white people that talk like that. But also in the English, sometimes they wanted to uh, speak amongst themselves because it was illegal for them to speak their native tongue because of fear that they would have an uprising. So they would learn to intertwine and remix the language to, uh, to be able to speak to us. And it was crazy because... Um, like Gullah, I know about Gullah and Geechee, but um, in the AAVE, um, when she started talk speaking it, I felt like I was t- listening to my grandma talking to me, or when my, you know, when you're a little kid and how they talk to you, I understood what she was saying, and then the light bulb popped in my head, like, um, for a long time, I've learned, I've been taught that this is proper English and that this is broken English as opposed of this is a new language with a with its roots in this proper language. You know what I mean? And that's why supremacy too, right? I mean, the fact that Okay, because what we're speaking in American in American English is not proper English either. You know, it's not the that's not the tongue of the queen. You know what I mean? That's not English. This is a new remix. But since this tongue is... a, This is bastardized. But then since this, this one's bastardized and this one, and this one's black, now this one doesn't have any validity. And uh, that's very interesting. You know what I mean? And it also speaks to me that I am bilingual because... Uh, like I said, they were speaking and I understood everything she was saying. It felt weird that they were acting like they were saying some type of different language. But in actuality, even in present time, in real time, hip hop is re bastardizing the English language again. So I could see what, you know what I mean? Like that, even, you know what I mean? This is, that is A A V E. You know what I mean? I'm taking stuff that I learn from it and I'm remixing it it's not no longer and it doesn't know it has sometimes doesn't even mean what it used to mean because she said um she said gone 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 and that means like it's already like it's already or done 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 means that you already did it and like we are we did that we have been been like we've been been We've been been done that, you know what I mean? And that's like part of the language. All this to say is that I'm going to be using this language on a Turf Toe podcast every Friday at 9 p.m. Check us out. Me and the fellas, O-H-T-O-T-H, Lonnie Dangerous, Freezes, Jason. It's the real deal. And I'm out.